classification of states. Now we are going to deal with this. Okay. Suppose we have taken a Markov chain X n. Okay. So the state space, the state space is zero, one, two, three, etc. It goes on. If the state is finite, then we can say this Markov chain is finite state Markov chain. If it is infinite, we cannot say it is finite. Okay. So uh, now we are going to uh, classify according to the states in general, depending on the nature of the movements of the states. Okay. First one, what we are going to see is I'll explain orally accessible or reachable state. Okay, so it is very simple. So if I take a state J, if I state take a state J, if this state J is reachable or accessible uh, from the state I, if I can access from I to J, okay, if the chain or its finite transition like this is the condition okay if my probability p p i j power n is going to be greater than zero for any integer n greater than or equal to zero if we achieve this then we can say the state is reachable state or accessible state okay now next one is this is what we are going to use in our problem irreducible irreducible markov chain what is mean by irreducible markov chain if a markov chain is said to be irreducible this is very simple student if you access every state is reachable from every other state okay if i start with suppose i have a problem with three states 0 1 2 if every state is accessible from every other state okay from state 1 uh, i can able to access i can go to state 1 so I have state 1 to 2 as well as state 1 to 0. Similarly, from state 0, I can go to 2 and 1. From state 2, I can go to 1 as well as I can go to 2. That's what I'm saying. If every state is reachable from every other state, then this is called as irreducible Markov chain. Clear? This is called as irreducible Markov chain. Mathematically, how we can express, if you find this, this value, this should be greater than 0 for all i and j. So this is called as irreducible Markov chain. Okay, students. Next, uh, I will explain with the example, then it will be easy instead of definitions. Okay, I will draw a transition diagram, TPM, 1, 2, 3, 4. Suppose I am taking like this, 0. So I am giving direction like this. 1 to 0, 2 to 1, 3 to 2, sorry, 3 to 2, okay, then, come on, okay, so now, uh, in the matrix, they will give the weightage for this, suppose the weightage is 1, 1, here I don't know the weightage, let me give it as P, P, so the opposite thing is 1 minus P, okay, now students, listen, can you go from 1 to 2? Can you go from state 1 to 2? Yes or no? Yes, sir. So I can go from 1 to 2. Then I can return back again from 2 to 1. Now, the problem, suppose I'm taking state 3. If I go from 3 to 4, that is possible. From 4 to 3, is it? can I come back? Here I have a self loop. So I will be stuck out here. So from 3 to 4, if I go, I cannot come back. Similarly, if I try to go from 3 to 0, if I am traveling 3 to 2, then 3 to 1, then 1 to 0, then what happened? From 0, I will be stuck off. I cannot come back. In the given problem, if you have at least one path such that you can go from one state and you cannot come back to that state, if you are stuck in some point of view, then the state is called as transient state. Can you understand student? It should contain at least one. In this figure you see three is transient because when you travel from three to four you will strike. Two is also transient, right? You can travel, you will strike. One is also transient. Here the states one, two, three are transient state. Suppose I will take one more example. One, three. Can I start from one and I can come back to one? Is it possible? Let me check. One to three, then three to one. So I can go to one, three, and I can come back. Similarly, I can start here. If I start three, I can go to three to two, two to one, 
then i can come back here also similarly 1 to 2 okay so here all the states 1 2 3 i can start at any part and i can reach one am i right i can go start from one finally i can reach one i can start from two i can reach two i can start from three i can reach three that means none of the states are transient so this state is called as recurrent states clear if the state is not transient then obviously it is going to be recurrent state can you understand what is mean by transient state if i start from a state and i am travel somewhere if i am stuck somewhere i cannot come back then the state is if i have at least one path like this then it is going to be the transient state if not so then it is going to be a recurrent state in this problem i can travel from one to anywhere and i can come back to one similarly three i can come back to three two i can come back to two so all the states here are recurrent here the states 1 2 3 or what transient they are not recurrent now this is 0 and 4 it see 0 as a self loop it start 0 and ends here here 4 also it start 0 and ends here it start from here it come back to here we can say this is recurrent and one more very important thing you have to see the weightage from the matrix okay if the weightage is 1 okay if the weightage is 1 because my total probability is 1 if the weightage is 1 then it is called as absorbing state that means i can travel from that state to the same state in only one step i cannot move to any other state okay if this transition diagram contains self loop and if this probability is 1 then it is called as observing state suppose if my probability is like this 0.3 this is not an observing state understand students so this is very important suppose your p matrix is like this 0.51 0.50 0 1 0 0 1 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 
two, four, then six, etc. I don't want more. I just take two numbers. Now, what is the GCD of this? Two. Okay, very good. So GCD of this is two. Is it greater than one or less than one? This is going to be greater than one. If my GCD, I don't bother about the number. If it is greater than one, I can say this is this state is periodic. If it is exactly one, then a periodic. That's it, student. Clear? So uh, that uh, my thing is take the problem, draw the diagram. From this, you can find whether it is periodic or not. This is method one. Method two. But if you are in offline exam mode, he, they will not give mark if you use method one. You can know the answer, but you have to go by procedure. Okay. So now this is going to be offline on online mode. So I am giving the trick here. You don't want to solve and waste your time. Using the transition uh, diagram, you can find whether it is periodic or aperiodic. Clear? Okay. This is done. Now the next one. Now to prove ergodic. So they will ask you given a problem, check whether the problem is ergodic or not. How to check whether the problem is ergodic or not? A recurrent, non-null and aperiodic state I is called ergodic state. That's it, student. So if you want to suppose this problem, if you want to check whether the period, whether the state A, B, C are ergodic, then you have to check this condition. It should be recurrent, first one. Then it should be non-null. Then it should be aperiodic. If these three conditions are satisfied, then we can say this process is ergodic. Okay. So for this recurrent and non-null, sometimes they say recurrent state is persistent state. Okay. Both are same, persistent or recurrent. So uh, for this two, I am not going to give a separate procedure. We have a result, okay? We have a theorem. We are going to use that theorem. And now if a given problem possesses all these three conditions, then it is said to be ergodic state or otherwise it cannot be ergodic. Okay, now I will tell this theorem which we need. Theorem, what it says, if a finite Markov chain, this is very important. If a finite Markov chain, is irreducible just now we have seen irreducible means from every state it can be access to every other state if it is irreducible all its states all its states are recurrent so you don't want to found recurrent student so if you prove that my given marco chain is irreducible automatically according to this theorem if the mark if the given matrix, if the Markov chain is irreducible, then all the states are recurrent and non-null. Okay, so these two things can be verified if you say this is irreducible. So you don't want to verify these two things. And then the third one, A periodic, just now I take. Take the length of the paths for each state. If the GCD is one, A periodic. If the GCD is more than one, periodic. If even this one condition fails, it cannot be ergodic. Okay. These two conditions we are going to prove by irreducible, that technique. This we have to go by the GCD. If both the conditions are satisfied, then it is called as ergodic state. Otherwise, it is not ergodic. So similarly, you have to check for all the states. Okay. If three states are given, state A, state B, state C, you have to check. Every state is ergodic or not that's it student if you know this this idea you can easily crack any problem in your exam point of view that's it students so i'll go for an example so that you can easily do this problems that is the theorem if a finite this is also one theorem a finite marco chain which is irreducible and a periodic is ergodic actually this is the theorem okay because the ergodic definition is different you have to say a persistent non-null a periodic state i is called ergodic according to some results people have proved if you prove this the matrix is irreducible and a periodic at each state then it is ergodic this is one theorem and the second one i said if the marco chain is irreducible then all states are 
all states are recurrent okay that is the second tier recurrent and non null okay if all the states are recurrent and non null first condition for ergot is over then k periodic okay the first theorem is uh, for persistent they are saying okay but we are not anyway using those two theorems directly that's why i didn't give the material i have given those theorems you can refer okay i just given the results which are needed for uh, problem solving purposes